Sussex Fury, Harry and Meghan suffer a nightmare when their contract is cancelled. Hello, and a very warm welcome to the Top Half News Channel. Last night, a royal expert made the claim that Harry and Meghan's failure to land pictures alongside senior royals had really dismayed Netflix execs. The expert Angela Eleven told that the main reason Harry and Meghan came over for the Jubilee was to boost their royal card and impress Netflix. She appeared on the Great Britain news program. And she said, Harry and Meghan wanted to see the Queen as soon as possible. So she saw them on the first day, she went in and then they asked if they brought their own photographer and they asked if he could take a picture of the two Lily Bets. And she said, no, absolutely not possible. Because they would have sold it. It would be very valuable, very valuable to them. Actually, the palace was so clever and gunning that they never had a chance to be photographed with any of the senior royals. I heard Netflix wanted these pictures of them with the royals, but they were sitting on the right-hand side and the rest of them, Camilla, Charles, Catherine, and William on the other side. Ms. Levin also said that she believes that after failing to get the photos they wanted, they probably just went off in a rage. I think they felt that everyone would drop everything, she added even on this amazing day, because they were there. They'd come back. I thought they were like petulant teenagers, really. They didn't get the prominence and star treatment they wanted. And the royal card was devalued. Their visit going contrary to serving their interests. They departed early and Ms. Levin also heard that the streaming giant was not happy with the Sussexes at all. Ms. Levin explains that it is only a matter of time before Netflix will ditch them. She said there will be the Invictus documentary, but there is nothing else. No one wants to see this pair in New York, Harry at the rodeo. Harry blamed Polo. Everything they have done is promoted ad nauseum by their paid PR Sussex squad and that Toad Scobie. And of course, Netflix will just cut its losses. I suspect Spotify will follow. And I was so proud of the way that the royal family played such a blinder in dealing with the two of them over the Jubilee weekend. There were no Netflix-worthy photos of them even close to senior royals and the photo they were wanting so badly of Lily Bet with the Queen by their own photographer. Yeah. I'm glad that she said no. Obviously, she wasn't going to say yes. I'm not even sure why they ask. So for Harry, this was really a double blow. He was unable to get the footage that his Netflix bosses wanted, and his family kept him at arm's length. Now, I think that he finally understands that he could have been a major part of the event. But instead of actually being a major part, he wasn't even acknowledged in the second row by William. And that also explains why Meghan and Harry left in such a hurry. They understood they were not going to get what they wanted. So no reason to stay. And I can only imagine the fits that they pitched on the flyback. And Netflix, the bunch of idiots, they really thought that they were buying access to the royal corridors. They thought they were going to get inside stories and they were just going to have full access to royal events. They really believed they were signing the golden couple when they signed up Meghan and Harry, but little did they know their popularity would plunge so far. And Meghan and Harry would just prove themselves to be untrustworthy in front of the whole world. And so what they're finding out now is that Harry has been totally excluded. He doesn't have any real stories to tell and he doesn't have access to the royals anymore. So they spent a whole lot of money for pretty much nothing at all. Since walking away from the royal family, neither of them has done anything meaningful. And now the royal family have gotten smart and they are keeping them at arm's length. So they are floundering. Meghan is delist or in her PR teams and production paymasters really believe they were going to be able to outsmart the wealthy men who have kept the institution of the British monarchy of flow for a thousand years. You know what the men of the palace has always did an amazing job and good for them for winning so big and so blatantly. And so publicly. So now I guess they're back in LA and they're just thinking about how they can get revenge on the royal family for the snub they received from everybody. They thought they were going to be able to just go back and everybody would adore them.
like they were long lost family. Oh, we're so happy you came back. See, the first mistake was that. And the second one was believing that Her Majesty would just let them do whatever they wanted, allow them to exploit her for financial gain. And as we talked about yesterday, they came back in the US so that they could play victims of this snub by William and Catherine, who didn't go to the birthday party. I guess it's not a very convenient true for Meghan and Harry that they were unable to go because they were so involved in the Jubilee. I mean, that was months of planning in the making. But no, Meghan and Harry tried to extend this olive branch. Oh, how lovely of them considering the whole breakdown of those relationships is because of them and their nasty vindictive behavior. Now they make their livings off of titles that they don't deserve as well as their connection to the royal family. By the way, though, this is the same family they attack constantly and then have the gall to come back and look those people in the face, hoping to get some more dirt for Netflix, realizing too, that a book is supposed to come out soon. That is bound to attack Charles and Camilla and William. And saying hateful things about Camilla when Harry is on tape claiming how wonderful she was and how much they loved her, really. I mean, those two and their vendetta are just disgusting. And if they do really dirty things in that book, I hope the royal family cuts them off completely. They are making the Queen's final years, pretty sad ones, because of their jealousy. And their bitter nasty behavior. And considering that they never even asked for the Queen's permission to use her nickname for their daughter. It really shows how low their ethics are and their self-interest is incredibly high. So, you know what? I'm so glad that the Queen turned down the request to have the meeting photoed by their photographer. Pretty interesting too. How Harry claims that he came over to see the Queen before the Invictus Games, to make sure that she had the right people around her. Now, of course, that claim has been refuted. So this was just to try to butter her up for them to try to get those Netflix photos and also maybe a christening for Lily Beds. But apparently all of those plans have blown up in their face. Maybe they figured out that, you know what the Queen has the right people around her after all. These are the people who protected her from being exploited by Meghan and Harry and Netflix. So now we know the real reason they ran home early. They figured out that they had been downgraded and they didn't have any access at all. And without any product, there's no brand, they've got nothing to offer. I'm hoping that's become clear to them now. Spoil Brad Harry and narcissistic Megan. And will just do anything they can to get their faces. You seen with anybody royal. And that's why they got that shot with the children, where they were saying SHC, they can't afford their current lifestyle unless they can produce something. That's a hit. And I'll admit that if Harry and Megan really wanted try to fix some of the damage they've done. Then they would have stayed past the celebrations. They would have enjoyed some quality time with the Queen when she wasn't so busy when she didn't have so many obligations. And when the Platinum Jubilee was finished. And if they really cared about making peace with the whole family, they could have attempted to meet with other senior royals. Of course, with witnesses there though, in case they later decided to claim this. He said, she said type of thing but to fly in right before the celebrations begin and then leave before even finish that just shows how selfish, how crass they are. And also it shows how arrogant and ignorant they are. Now. Of course, we all realize this Scooby-Doo is playing spin doctor at this moment, trying to claim that the two of them are the victims and all this. And now that Harry has lost his status as in a list or in the royal family, we can only wonder how long it's going to be before Meghan dumps him. U.S. courts are bound to crucify him with that divorce settlement and child support. And reality TV is just going to be so excited to get a program about the daily life of a divorced royal and her kids. I can only imagine. So, I'm sorry, Harry, but you and Meghan are just not more important than the royal family. It doesn't matter how many claims you make, to the contrary. And it is time that you finally remember that. And you, what do you think about them? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments section. And we'll also talk about the future of Meghan and Harry.
If you think my video was helpful, don't be afraid to like and share with your friends and relatives who need it anytime you want. And don't forget to subscribe to the Top Half News channel to get more videos from our team in the future. Now thank you for watching goodbye, and I'll be back to see you in the next